What's going on, strangers and stalkers? Have you ever been taking a walk outside, so you stare directly at the sun and you think, wow, that kind of hurts. I'm not a big fan of that. I've been there. And I've spent a lot of money buying this whole shelf of sunglasses. Uh, these aren't all necessarily sunglasses. They're just kind of glasses that I can wear stylishly. The ones that with yellow lenses, pink lenses, green lenses. You wouldn't really wear them to protect you from the sun. But they're kind of cool, or so I thought. So I bought more. Now I have this big giant tower of sunglasses. And um, within the past couple months, I stopped wearing them as much as I did. For about a year and a half, this was my style. And I wore these frequently. Um, and I stopped wearing them because I was like, oh, I look kind of like a dork. Uh, and I realized that eventually, thank God. Uh, but I want to put all these glasses, I don't want to get rid of them, but I kind of want to put them in storage. Like, I can look, come, bring them back out at some point in the future. If I need to dress up, I need to, I got a Halloween costume that demands for it. Uh, I can pull them back out. But for the time being, I think that I want to put, put this all in storage. And I got this, uh, this like this tower that you'd hold your, you'd hold sunglasses on at like a gas station or something. I, I got this from uh, where my mom works. Uh, she was, they were throwing this out and she was like, you got, you got glasses, you want this? I was like, yeah, I do. So it's mine now. Um, and I want to keep this too. I just want to put it in storage. I've gotten these glasses from, I've, they've been gifts from others. Um, for a couple of these, I found them uh, just like laying on the ground, seemingly abandoned. And, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, I, I leave it there. Come back a couple days later. They're still there. Okay, mine now. Um, and, but a lot of these I just bought with my own money because I wanted them. And I think that it kind of started off with some kind of like facials, facial, facial insecurities or something. But then it kind of turned into like, wow, I think I look good with these on. Uh, I don't. I even took one of my, uh, uh school pictures with, uh, this pair of glasses on, which we'll get to first, but. Um, I guess this is just me showing off all these glasses, preserving it here, um, as of September 2023. I don't think I'm going to be buying any more glasses, like, uh, ever, but I think that, that showing off this is good. So, without further ado, uh, I guess I'm going to start showing my glasses now. These are the first ones. I got these for, as a gift from my brother for Christmas one year. Uh, these were a dollar and they're supposed to be like blue light sort of glasses. But um, I started, you can see like the reflection of my desk. Hope you don't mind that, probably kind of messy. Um, so this is what these glasses look like. They're glasses. They are um, with yellow lenses and they're a little flimsy now. I mean, I think for costing $1 at like CBS or something, then these have held up for like two and a half years, which is quite a long time um i like these glasses but you know like i said i just don't like wearing any of these glasses anymore um and good to keep though so if you're ever looking for a one dollar pair of glasses just figure out what kind of glasses these are specifically and then buy those because these are pretty good next up is probably the glasses that i've gotten the most usage out of which is embarrassing considering we this is the second pair of glasses in the video but they're pink octagon glasses, which I bought from a local market. Um, the guy there, I knew him because I bought glasses from him a couple of times. And he was selling these for 15 bucks, uh, but he was like, hey, because I know you, I'll give them to you for 10. And I went, okay, uh, I'll take that deal. Uh, and I really like them too. I didn't just buy them because he was gonna give them to me cheaper. I really like these too. They're pink octagons, which, um, Pink's my favorite color, and octagons are in my top 100 shapes in that ballpark. Uh, probably top 50. Uh, so this was, you know, quite a good deal, uh, I guess, uh, because I like these. Uh, they don't feel annoying to wear. I kind of forget I'm wearing them. I've gotten a lot of compliments on them in the past, which is nice. I don't think they look terrible. Uh, I might whip these out for a Halloween costume one year if I need to dress up like somebody who wears pink octagon glasses. Anyways... Uh, other than that, I got these bad boys that I bought from, like, Walgreens or something. I was like, wow, these look so cool. Um, I guess. But I think that wearing, like, square glasses doesn't look good on me. I don't look good. See, I walked around wearing these and I thought they looked good. Um, which I guess was, like, some sort of, like, fashion statement. 
That's what they look like on the side. They're just really big. And anywhere I look, there's a border on my vision, which I don't like. I like these because they're so... The, the other ones I already showed you, they're so big that I, I get all the vision I need. But these ones... No, I don't really, and they're really big, and they're kind of heavy. Not a huge fan. Um, but these cost me like $10, so I tried to wear them plenty to get my use out of them. I don't think I ever did. Um, these were a pair of Walmart glasses, uh, with little jewels around them. They're kind of similar in nature to the other ones, except, uh, you know, they have these fake-looking jewels. They're just indents. They're, they're not actually anything. Um, there's one glaring flaw with these. They don't really fit that well. Um, I don't know if I have a weird face, weird nose, weird ears, weird eyes. I don't know what it is, but uh, they don't fit well on me, which I came to terms with. I wore these like two times. But that's fortunate because these were like $3 at Walmart, so save me some money. Uh, and then I have that exact pair of glasses, but in gold. Uh, these ones don't have pink lenses. They have black, and they fit a little bit better. I got these from a friend. Uh, but they're pretty much the same as, you know, the other ones. These ones have black lenses. Um, I guess I like them more than the other ones because if I really wanted to, I could wear these out in public, but why would I do that? But that's okay. I like these, though. They're they're very solid, and for getting them for free from a friend, I'll take it. Uh, people, get, people started giving glasses to me because they know I liked glasses, so that's where some of these came from. This was a thrift store find. Um, this one was three bucks. Um, I bought these. I thought, wow, I'll find a good occasion to wear these. I never did. And I never will because these are going in storage. These just don't look good on me. These are like, they're very sharp. They're very angular and they fit weird on my eyes to the point where if you look at me from a side angle, you can kind of see my eyes coming out, which is weird. Um, cool glasses, but they feel weird. I think that's my biggest takeaway from those. These were ones that I bought at a Dollar Tree. I, no, wait. I'm thinking of the wrong pair of glasses. I'll get to the Dollar Tree ones in a minute. These ones I, I got from my brother. I don't know where he found these. I never really wore these because I got these very late into my collection. Uh, like right before I stopped wearing them. They look fine. Um, I think that they, they, they kind of run into a similar issue with this one, just in the kind of the way they're shaped which doesn't really fit my eyes. Also, they kind of slide off my nose a little bit, but not uncomfy, just kind of there and in the way quite a bit. Um, these ones are great glasses. I like these because they don't have frames. They're just kind of all one thing. Um, there are only two problems I see with this. One, it's kind of heavy, which is unfortunate because you don't really want your glasses to be heavy. That kind of weighs down on your nose and hurts the sides of your head, which is exactly where this is, the side of my head. Um, and the other one is that it kind of leaves this weird mark on my nose, which I think a lot of these glasses do. Um, but these ones are really cool. My parents bought these for me, Christmas gift. Um, so I don't know how much they were, but uh, I appreciate it. I do like these ones. Don't get me wrong. These these would go good with a Halloween costume. I wear, I wear them on Valentine's Day or something, whatever I'm feeling. These ones I got from a friend as well, which are also hearts, which here's my problem with these. These are cool, but they're very loose on me. If I tilt my head down, they'll fall. And I know I demonstrated that for some other ones, but I did it before and some of these jewels came off, which is unfortunate because otherwise these ones look kind of snazzy and I would wear them more, but I can't because they broke and now I look stupid and I feel like an idiot. I feel like a moron because I go around wearing these. And they go, Cooper, what happened to the jewels? And I go, I dropped them. And they go, why would you drop your glasses? I go, I don't know. Anyways, not the point. They don't look bad. Um, I like them. If I had the jewels fixed, then I might have worn more. Um, now we get to the point uh, where you can't see down there. Trust me, there's glasses down there. You just can't see them. And when I'm done, I'm going to pick this whole thing up and do another little whirl around. But there's this side and then two and then two sides on the side, and then on the back is these little, like, hooks, which I could put glasses on, but I never got to the point where I needed to put them on there. I, I, I didn't even finish filling up all of these. Um, these ones were pretty cool. I think these were a Walmart pair, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which the only problem with these is um, they broke 
on the way home from Walmart that day, that fateful day. They broke on the way home, which is very unfortunate because they're kind of cool. I tried to break off the other side so they kind of look similar because I guess that could kind of work if they were both broken, but I couldn't get it to budge, um, which begs to begs the question, how did the one side break in the first place if I can't get the other one to, even with a pair of big scissors? I don't know. Um, this pair is cool. Uh, this pair I got from my girlfriend. And I think these ones look good. These are just clear, but they're for style. I could, I guess I could kind of, if I had to get prescription glasses, I might want something cool. These are hearts. Love. And I think they look good on me. Um, these ones are one of the ones I think I'd miss. Uh, I'm going to miss when I put all these glasses in storage. But... They, they, I, I appreciate what they did for me. I'm a big fan of these. Um, now we have the, the, the dollar, the, the, the dollar tree glasses that I did buy. These were, guess how much? A dollar 25 because they raised their prices. I hate inflation. Anyways, uh, these are also hearts. I have a lot of heart glasses. Look at me being so loving. Um, I never really got to wear these much because in school, they kind of had a rule that you can wear these glasses if I wanted to, but the lenses had to be like colors that were see-through so you could still see my eyes because that was a safety violation for some reason because uh, I might have a knife in my eye and that wouldn't be really safe. Uh, and these obviously do not fit the fit the, the agenda. Uh, so I couldn't really wear these in school. Most of these I tried to wear in school. Um, I didn't really wear them that much outside of school even. But I'd be like, hey, you guys want to go to the... My mom would be like, you guys want to go to the store? To me and my siblings, and I'd pop on a pair of glasses or something. I don't want to be seen in public without them. I had to keep up my look. But if the look isn't good, don't keep it up. I wish I knew that sooner. These I bought at a gas station. These were $10, and these may be a waste of money. I thought they looked good because I was with a friend who assured me they looked good. And listen, man, I appreciate your opinions, but I think you should have kept it to yourself in this matter and lied to me. Um... Yeah, because I don't know how I look in these. Again, they're square, and I don't think I look good in square glasses. I like the little little gem diamond things on the eyes. And they're like a dark purple-pink looking color. I like the color of them, don't get me wrong. I just don't think it looks good on me. Um, we got a couple more glasses here at the bottom. These are the closest things to a pair of normal... That watch just beat. These are the closest thing to a pair of normal sunglasses I own. Um... And there is one flaw with them. See, they look pretty nice. These were Walmart glasses. I spilled spray sunscreen in a backpack that had these in them. So now they smell and look like sunscreen on both the lenses. Which makes me not even want to put these on to show you that much right now. Um, they're kind of cool. They're $14 at Walmart. Uh, I wanted a pair of like just real sunglasses. Like something that I could actually wear with and bring me places. I didn't want a cheap little phony pair. I wanted something big. I didn't want to buy it at the gas station. I had to buy it at Walmart. I had to. And I did. And then I got sunscreen all over them. So, of what? Now, uh, we get into some of these circle glasses I have, which might look good on me. I don't know. These ones are like rainbow and gold. Wow. So 60s. So 60s and 70s, dude. Uh, these were bought at Dollar General, so I'm sure you can assume they didn't cost that much. I don't know why I bought these. And I couldn't wear these in school either, so... <laughs> why would I keep them? Uh, these are going in storage. I don't know how I even look in those or how I feel about them. These were another pair that my parents got me for Christmas, which I am a fan of. I like these ones a lot. Um, only thing is I think they make my face look weird because my eyebrows are really weird. So they're like in the glasses with them. I don't know how I feel about that. But these are pink and they slowly, f you can't, you won't be able to see it on camera. They're pink at the top and they slowly fade into a light green, which is a color scheme I admire. And they're nice. I like the ridges around them. They have, they're like, and they have the adjustable thing in the middle. Which, the only bad thing about having these is that because they're, like, got metal, whatever, if I put them up on my head like this, my hair's gonna get stuck in it, which, uh, I don't appreciate because I have long hair. Um, anyways, these are good glasses, too. I like these ones a lot. 
um, and wish I got more use out of them. And the last one on this side of things is this pair of glasses that I also got for my girlfriend. Um, and again, I don't mind these glasses. Like, I don't think that the colors are bad or anything. I just don't think I look good in square glasses. This looks weird. I think it's because most of them make it look like I don't have eyebrows. And then I look alien. Um, they're cool, though. I like the shape of them because they're not just, like, rectangles or, like, whatever that is. Round rectangles. I don't know. Um, but anywho, that was, that was this whole side of sunglasses. Now we just have this side and this side. I'm miserable. I'm going to start with this side just because there's less on it, and I think I need to give myself a little uh, break. There's like eight pairs of glasses on this side, so we can blast those pretty quick. But here you'll start to see more of the fun glasses I have. These are pretty just like, okay, they're, 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 they're pretty calm. But these ones, oh, these go insane. These go wild. Um, like this one. It's America Guitar. I love guitars, and I love America. I love glasses. I gotta shout it from the rooftops. These are pretty cool. They're plastic, though, which is like... You had me at the beginning. Um, but they're cool. I like them. They're American guitars. They had guitars with flames on them, which I don't know if, which I would have preferred. I can wear it on 4th of July. Not much else. Otherwise, I just look like I'm doing too much. Um, also, I don't know how to play the guitar. Like, not even remotely. I don't know how to play a guitar, a ukulele, any any sort of string instrument. Uh, they're too hard. So these are pretty cool. But still, um, I'm a fan of them. Now, th th these ones are also some pretty normal glasses. I actually can't recall where I got these, but they're just like... Some aviators. I look pretty nice. I look like I'm ready to fly or something or be in an 80s movie. Um, not bad. They're just kind of glasses. Um... And now I have these, which I did get for free from my school because they had these guys come up from the Army Indiana, the Indiana Army National Guard. And they were like, yo, you guys want to join the Army? And I went, no, but do you guys have free glasses? And they went, yeah. And I went, can I have some? And they went, yeah, sure. Will you join the Army? And I went, I'll think about it. And uh, I got free glasses. So that's cool. Uh, they're like wood, wood glasses. They look like wood I don't know what kind, I don't know my, I don't know my wood, but, um, I would like to know. These are a pair that my dad found for me, and they say fireball on the side. Now listen, 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 whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 just hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I don't drink, but, uh, I think they're kind of funny. Uh, it's fireball, it's got the little guy with the fireball, shooting a fireball with a fireball, um, they look not that bad. They're red, and there's sunglasses. I'm just too scared to wear these in public, because if somebody rips them off my face and looks on the side and see Fireball, I don't know what's going to happen to me, but probably something not very good. I don't drink. Uh, they're, just, <laughs> they're just sunglasses, guys. It's not that serious. Um, this was another thrift store pair. Three bucks. I like these because they, they like snap like this. I, I get scared I'm going to break them. But, like, they bend. They're, like, bendy. Which is cool because one size fits all, except they don't fit me at all. They're way too... This part's uncomfortable. Like, that's the worst thing because this part is bad. But this, I love this because these bend and they won't break. And, like, if your face was, like, that wide, they'd fit you. Or if it was this inward, they'd fit you. But this part doesn't fit. So why would I wear these? I don't even have that big of a head, but these... It's like, they would fit me if I had that big of a head, and I, I can't even I can't even wear them because the front hurts. Uh, these are stars. These are stars. <sighs> Pretty big fan. Uh, the only problem with these star glasses too is that they're I think they're a little bit too small. That my eyes kind of seep out the sides. You you look at me from a side angle and you can definitely tell my eyes are under there. Mm, they're pretty cool though. Um, they look like stars, black stars, whatever. Um, <laughs> black stars. Um, Thanks, Black Star glasses. These ones were ones my parents got me, too, I believe, for Christmas. I got a, quite a few for Christmas. Um, Christmas is just a time of giving glasses, I'm telling you. Um, if it's Christmas time and you don't know what to get me, don't get me glasses because I don't like them anymore. But if you knew me a year or two ago, you should have. Um, these are kind of cool. I wish that I looked good in these. They're like pink heart glasses. 
um, which, <laughs> stop me if you've heard that one before, but they have this little, like, design thing where these, like, go inwards. It's cool. I like glasses with weird, like, indents like that. I think they're nice. And these feel comfortable and everything. They just don't look that good on me. I look like, hi. Um, not the point. So, there's those. Um, I'm not trying to fly through these at a, at a rapid pace. I just don't really have a lot to say about some of these. These were, I think, the last pair I got for that one. No, there's one more pair you'll see today that I got for last Christmas. But, these ones I don't know how to feel. They're cool, and they look blue, but they're not blue lenses. They just kind of look kind of blue. Um, and they're cool, but they have these, like, clear parts on the outside that are see-through. But they're connected to the glasses, which is kind of cool, admittedly. Um, I do like these glasses, but they're uh, the same thing. They're heavy. They're heavy to wear. And when the glasses are heavy, then it hurts your eyes and the size of your head and your nose. And then it's just uncomfortable. Uh, and the last pair that is on this section. Yeah, that's right. I stood up. Um, is one pair of circle glasses. This pair isn't bad. Uh, they're small. They're so small. And I think one of the only pairs of purple glasses I have, this doesn't look good on me because you have to wear them like low down like this hi my name's cooper i don't think i look that good um i'm not i'm a, I, I like them trust me don't get me wrong these were a friend pair um i like these two circle glasses are better on me than square than like rectangle glasses but um i don't think by much i think that my ideal shape is a uh, normal glass glasses shape or like triangles or hearts or something. Uh, and on to the final side of my glasses tower that I'll show. I said that I'll show, but this is the only, this is the last side period, is this one, which houses most of the fun ones. So uh, I, I kind of wanted to do this one last because this is kind of uh, for all the, all the real ones out there that stick around till the very end, that stick around until 22 minutes and 15 seconds. Um, so first up is this, this, this crown pair of glasses. Now, if this isn't the definition of a pair of glasses that you bought for $3 at Walmart in the party aisle, I don't know what is. Because this sure is. And uh, they look uh, moderate. Uh, this is so much, and my hair will get caught in it, and then it's like, this ruins the effect. This doesn't look good. You have to keep your hair very out of the way for these to work. And also, they slip off pretty easily. I wouldn't wear these in public. I'd feel pretty embarrassed for myself. And I can deal with that. Toss them away. Um, these are happy birthday glasses. Um, I did wear these on my birthday. You don't need to ask. But I don't really wear these on other people's birthday because it seems like I'm. It seems like I'm just celebrating myself uh, when it's not my birthday. I only wear these on my birthday, which since I started wearing glasses has only come around once since I've had these. Um, but the thing is, they've got this little, these sparkles, they get everywhere, they get all over my face, and they did on my birthday, my eyes were itching, and they got in my eyes, like, these are, <laughs> and guess where I got these, three dollars in the party aisle at Walmart, Walmart, you're my go-to, um, these were a thrift store find, but for eight dollars, I have these, that I don't know that they look really good because again they they like ride kind of low on my face, and I'm not sure how I feel all about this. I keep adjusting my hair because they have, my hair has to look different for some of these different glasses to look good. So I keep trying to move it. Um, I'm also doing a lot of head turning and on and off glasses. Anyways, I keep hiccuping. They're blue lenses if you couldn't tell, but you don't wear them like this because otherwise you look horrifying and they look like goggles. Um, you're supposed to wear them like lower down. If there's one pair, there's one kind of glasses, I think, that don't that look worse than rectangle glasses. It might be oval glasses, of which I think this is the only pair. But regardless, I don't know if this looks really good. Uh, and for $8, it definitely wasn't that great of an idea. Um, but now I think we're down to the last nine pairs. Uh, uh, bringing it home with the unicorn glasses, which I think are... The last pair of Walmart glasses I have. Three dollars in the party aisle. Whew. Unicorn glasses. These ones are nice. I like these. I like these a lot. 
They look like they have glitter and sparkles, but don't be fooled. They're just little splotches of paint. They're not real. Um, these unicorns, I uh, don't really, never really named them, but I'm sure I could have thought of it if I had more time to wear these. These look good. They fit so nice on my face. The only thing is if you walk by people in the hallway at school and you bump into them with these, you're going to get laughed at. Let me tell you, you're going to get beat up after school. Um, fortunately, ah, I stopped wearing glasses before I had the chance to. Um, and now I have these, which are um, Elton John glasses. Um, he's, these were sold uh, on his website and at his concerts he did. Um, and I was a pretty big him fan. And so I had somebody, I knew somebody who went to one of the concerts and bought this pair for me. This was like $15, which these are cool. And if anybody knows sunglasses for fashion well, it's probably Elton John. Um, and they don't look that, <laughs> here's the thing, they do look kind of bad on me. Um, I think that I couldn't pull these off. I think these are an Elton John only. Um, and the thing is, right here, this little point, it points and it digs into your nose hard and it hurts. Um, I think that the, 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 these are meant to be a novelty to wear to um, concerts of his and then never again. But they flash in three different modes and uh, are my only glasses to do so. They look kind of cool if I put them in my hair. Wow, I look silly. But, ow. Aside from that, they're just, they just don't look that great on me. Um, they have a little button on the end of one of the glasses that you push. Um, thank you, Elton John. I like heart glasses. Uh, great music. These did not work well for me. <clears throat> and now we have my... These were glasses that my dad willingly bought me because he thought I would look like uh, the Macho Man, Randy Savage, which I don't really think I do. Um, 15 bucks at a gas station, but he bought them, so I guess they were free. Uh, they look okay. They're just, I, it's connected, which is weird. They look like ski goggles. And this part is just like different colors. And also this right here is like sharp plastic. And every time you put them on, it digs into my face. And it's like adjustable too, for some reason. I don't know why they did that. Anyways, these are not all that. Uh, I don't think I rock these that well. These are 3D glasses. And when I was told, hey, Cooper, you can't wear sunglasses to an event because it's like formal or something. I'd wear these because I was like, well, these are my prescription glasses. I just wore these and got away with it. Um, they're 3D glasses you get at like a movie theater or something. Uh, they look, they, I got these from a friend. Thank you. Um... These ones, uh, my mom bought at her work before realizing that these are like, uh, work glasses. I would wear these if I was like cutting down a tree or something. I'm not cutting down a tree. These are just supposed to be like safety goggle sort of things. I already have yellow glasses and these ones kind of overdo it. Um, I do like that they feel comfortable and they stay on my head though. Um, but also these frames, like there's not, there's nothing, there's no like, there's nothing at the bottom to keep the, the lenses in all too well. So they might kind of slide out, which I'm very worried about. And now we have these, which were another pair for my girlfriend, which are black circular glasses, which are big with flowers on them. I really like these ones too. Um, I think that the flowers are just, they're just beautiful. Um, I like the color scheme of it. They're very big on my, like a very big circle on my eye, but that's kind of not a bad thing. They're, they're comfortable and they stay, which is the two biggest things I can ask for in a pair of glasses. And so I'm very fortunate for these. And another that I think will be missed when I have to uh, put these all in a bin and storage because I don't wear any of them. Um, but I wore these ones out in public quite a few times and I got many compliments. So, big fan. Um, we're down to our last three pairs, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and only one of these is not broken. Yeah, I'm going to show you even the broken ones. That's how wild I am. These were the last Christmas pair I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Um, a pair of green circular glasses, which I think are my only green glasses. They don't look bad either. They're not that bad. I mean, I think circle glasses, like I said, not that good on me, but these ones kind of work. They're gold, they're green, they, whatever. Um, they look pretty good. And not opposed to these. I think these are good. I wore these around for a while. <clears throat> I wore these every day for a little bit, actually. They were good. The last two 
are kind of broken. So bear with me. I'm going to show these ones first. These were ones that my girlfriend made, um, which are cool because they're made with uh, like blue popsicle sticks. And these are little cut CDs. So you can't really see out of them that well, but that's kind of the gimmick. And I don't even know what you would call this silver stuff on the outside. Maybe maybe like pipe cleaner sort of thing. You can see through it kind of like, but barely. It just makes your vision very foggy. But these are really cool just for like effort put into these alone and because these were like made and not bought, um, which I greatly appreciate. And instead of throwing them on my bed, I'm just going to put them back on the stand uh, so as not to break them any more than they are. It's just a little loose. I had to tape up uh, a piece. And the last one was this black pair with these gems on the outside that I really like. Um, and I bought these from that sunglass guy for 15 bucks um, that I knew. But these broke um, one of the uh, thing things, I don't even know what you'd call these, came off and I lost it, which is unfortunate. So I tried putting it back on, never could get it to work. Um, but these glasses look good. I like the gems, I think the gems add to it. That's all my glasses, which I, th I don't know, it was like 30 pairs. Um, that was my personality. That was my fashion, I guess, was wearing those, um, which I'm kind of glad I foregone, f forewent, forego if, and now I'm back to my normal self wearing no glasses. This tower is super cool. I'm glad that I got this, and I'm definitely going to hang on to it. Um... And it spins around, which is which is cool. I don't know why I'd get rid of this. So I'm going to put this in storage and then get a bin for all these glasses and stuff. But um, I hope you, you, you enjoyed going on this adventure of glasses today. Um, they definitely they definitely help me not look at the sun because I, I'm very, very prone to doing that. And if there's one thing to take away from this video of me rambling about all the pairs of glasses I used to wear, it's that they were a pretty big investment of time and money that I'll never get back. These were not, they're not that cool. I didn't look good.